Okay, so what are the four permutations of things that relate to the causes for our Lama's happiness and unhappiness? I think Ooh. I left it huh? this way because if I made it more specific, I'd be giving the... Or unhappiness no, with it. us. So the, the, in the text it was, when my Lama is unhappy, I cannot ever please my Lama. Uh -huh. It was a, a cause. Yes. And what are the four four types of, of oh, that? Yeah, that's right. Um, inner, outer, outer, inner, inner, yeah. outer, outer, inner, inner. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right. In a nutshell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is the uh, example of uh, mango? The fruit ripening. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Mm. I was not going to put that in the football. Mango. Thanks, Steve. Mango. <laughs> so if you had to rank them in order, uh, which one would you choose and can you explain why? And what are the two reasons for morality that come into play here? The two reasons. The best thing is for both of them to match. Yeah. Uh -huh. exactly. If they can't match, then the inner should be good, and the outer shouldn't worry about the outer. Yeah, he does say that. Uh, he actually said the opposite. No, at no, first he, he says the inner should be good, and the outer should doesn't matter as much. And then he said the opposite. And then he said, or both bad is the worst, obviously. And then later he qualified it by saying, but we monks should try to keep our outer uh, right. yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. And what are the two reasons for morality that come to play here? For ethics? Or the shame and consideration? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on show you. Uh oh, <laughs> mm. everyone. Well, yeah. Everybody who knows it knows it. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> What's the cost for people that we happily hire suddenly start hitting us? <laughs> <laughs> low, low salary? <laughs> uh, what should we do from no this moment breaks. on? No breaks. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No off sleep. Climate causes. So low salary is not caused by karma? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it has to do something with with the uh, dharma. With the what? Dharma. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. The sort of Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. No, I'm. I'm no, I'm illegal. And what should we start doing from now on? Praising them, encouraging them, mm -hmm. helping them go higher. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, this great. No, sorry, that was the previous one. <laughs> no, this one was uh, to disgrace our parents, teachers, authorities. Oh yeah, they call us pun pun. Pun pun. Pun pun. Says that we should try to become mm -hmm. peaceful and smiling, which we. I don't know what that means, it's where we stop. It's like Seiji, okay? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Be like Seiji. Be like Seiji. Oh, okay, nice. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the other guys oh. have a chance. Yeah, this is for none of for the... For people who are younger than you. Uh-uh. Younger than you. Oh, Stanley. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> awesome. Tell you. Uh -huh. Yeah, good. Yeah. Mm. Wait, yeah. explain it more carefully for the guest. <laughs> Shame means, uh, it's it really helps, uh, it means how you want to see yourself. Yeah. Because if you are doing bad things, you will see yourself as a bad person. You don't want that kind of shame. 
Yeah. And the easy way to define it is, uh, do you stop doing something in private that nobody will ever know except you? You know, do you want to see yourself as a good person? You think? Okay. In trail you? Yes. What's the opposite? You don't want to do something bad because you want other people to see you as a good person. Yeah, your parents will be upset, your llama will be upset, your friends will be upset. Okay. So that's the opposite. In, in public, you try to act good. I think Gotsa is harder. Yes. To be good in your own home by yourself. You know? yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. I, I don't know if this is legal Teach. to put. And in the Abhidharma, uh, uh, because it's not really a. Uh, these are the two roots of all good karma. Every good karma has these two. It's one of the main words. A thing which holds its nature. Yeah. To be technical about it. Is this correct? Quality attribute. That is one of its meanings. Yes. I mean, as in quality increase. Uh, oh, he's talking uh, about Che Chen or something? Uh, che Chen, I guess. Uh, I think you're thinking of Che, like Rei Chi. Oh. It's okay. I forget where it came up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. che, che means Dharma. So it means Let's see, I bet I can find it actually. Um, yeah, I saw that it had so many yeah. definitions. So it's, like, it's like the main word in that list. <laughs> right. And uh, chok. No coke. No coke. Yeah. Uh, it's nothing special. Mm. Yeah, nice. Hypocrisy is a nice word. Yeah, how you act on the outside and how you are on the inside doesn't match. Nice. Nice homework. Thanks for spending so much time on your homework. Some people don't. Okay, right. here we go. Mm. Mm. Good yield on those crops there. <laughs> yeah, now exciting, right? I can see you're all excited, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are even awake. <laughs> Six today. Yeah. He's, how many days in your text? Eleven. So, oh, yeah, Explain your text is. to the guests. Mm. Oh, so my text is called Lojo. It's a Lojo, which is a literary genre that the main purpose is to help us develop a good heart or bodhicitta, like love and compassion. And this one in particular is a class from a very well-known Lojo called The Crown of Knights. And this is the notes taken by one of his students of all the class that the eleven session class that he did. Wow. How many years ago? Um, here it is. Uh, the teacher taught it in around 1805. The text was written around 950. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's a, it's a big source for karmic correlations. My text is inside, the root text of this text is in Dr. Wu's text, the one that we just saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your 46 pieces. Uh, yeah, this is where I took the, the uh, all the diamond cutter business correlations I took from this book uh, 20 years ago. You didn't take all the correlations, or you just... Uh, almost all of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. That chart. Yeah. Cool. Okay, go. Chetun Chukpa. What's it mean? The six. The sh yeah. Six. Huh? Six days. Yeah, the sixth session. We don't know how many sessions he did, but the sixth Dharma teaching session. Uh, and then he repeats Chitunbe Chitunbe Kapsu. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the It's a tradition before a Lama starts a major teaching they will try to pump up the audience, you know, get their motivation oh, that's right. pure. And then they will almost always quote a famous book. <coughs> so they'll start with a quotation that doesn't relate to the subject that much. But they just want to get the students to think that they're there for the right reason. And not yam gyuk, which means coming to the teaching because your friend came to the teaching. <laughs> okay, it's a famous uh, problem with students. Okay, all right. We get started that way. Yeah, so we got There's a famous case in New York. I was teaching in New York, and one boy uh, followed a girl, a cute girl, down the street. And she came to my class, and he came to my class, and he became one of my best students. Uh, 
he, he followed a girl into the class. And anyway, it's kind of funny. All right. Go ahead. Tell me your Dini Shinto Yowa Te Yowa. Yowa. No, Yowa. Yo, man. Yowa. Yowa Te Chepa Ne Gila Chepe Chok Chong Di Chupai Gi Chepe Tsingdrel 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 Katsu. Nice. Good pronunciation. Okay, we hate this Chepa Ne. Tell me what Chepa Ne. Um, um, Moore said, Moore's quoted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he gave the first line of a verse, he gave the last line of a verse, and he said, dot, dot, dot. And we hate it, right? Yeah. So we wish he would have given us the whole verse. Geshe Michael always has to go and find it for you. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the whole verse, which I found for you. Thank you it's sir. interesting, it's from a tantra, oh. and a very famous tantric author, uh, Znyanapada. Uh, it's Guya Samaja's system. Uh, it's not, I'm sorry, he's not the uh, necessarily author, but uh, he's, it's in his system. There are several systems of Guya Samaja, mm -hmm. and it's in his tradition. And uh, yeah, it is Samatabhadra, but it's a, uh, what's a Drupta? Sadhana. Sadhana means? Achieving, uh, reaching the Daily angel. practice. It's a daily practice mm -hmm. in order to meet angels directly. Okay, and that's what they do in the three-year retreat. They memorize it, sadhana. They studied it for seven years. Then they did the three-year retreat. Uh, sadhana means how do you reach them. It's related to the word siddhi, or siddha, which means to reach, right? Okay, so anyway, this is from a sadhana, which is very amazing. Uh, this is misspelled here, by the way. I don't know. That was a. Well, that was in the. Tell me yeah. Sanskrit like that in the Tengu. Yeah, because I told them to do it that yeah, way. Yeah, you're gonna so redo it. It's my fault. <laughs> okay, let's read the whole verse that he put dot dot dot. Tang tang yun di ni shintu yowa tang jikten kyo tampa trip nyeka te tewa. Tewe she rap tap la showa yi. Showa. Showa yi. Yi la chepe chokte chuparcha. Yeah, okay. Uh, so Gang's going to give us this first line. Mm. Uh, uh, What's that? Uh, the yoga or something? Ah, uh, that's Nelnjor. You're close. Nelnjor. You're in the right city. You're in the right city, but you're in the wrong address. <laughs> you know it? Nelnjor. Tell what you. Oh, the... You got eight of them. Yeah, eight the eight. <clears throat> come on, come on. It's there, it's there. Squeeze. Siru. Siru. Eighteen leisures and... Fortune. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which means a human body where you can talk, you can see, you can hear, there's Buddhism in the world. Okay, Dellinger. But all these conditions we have, perfect conditions, we have Buddhism, you have too much Buddhism in this room. <laughs> then, uh, you know, you're healthy, you're not blind, you know, the, the government doesn't say you cannot do this. And you're not sleepy. You're free. You are sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's just the 19th. Uh. <laughs> but these conditions are your. They're shaky. They're shaky. They can change any time. You know, the government can change any time. The, the, your health can change any moment. Okay. Uh, Yo, uh, dumb. Uh, and to meet Kyo Damba. Holy beings. Yeah, people in this world who are really nice people, good people, <laughs> to meet them is Ka, and this comes from your text. It's a difficult to meet really nice people. They, they're not very common. Uh, okay, so in this world, Chikten, in the world, to meet uh, common people. We had Nyepa in, in Xiaoping's text like five times this morning, but I know that was a long time ago. Yes. Gain. Gain, yeah. It was, she didn't want the other nuns to get their Nyepas. So here it is a verb. To, to get to meet. Mm -hmm. To get to meet really good people is rare. Dampa means holy people. Okay. Uh, and now he concludes. Uh, Dewe means what? Day cheer. 
then, uh, because of that, uh, therefore, okay, they wait. Therefore, this is a beautiful uh, word, and uh, it's an idiom, okay, shulwa. Uh, and it means to get swept away by an emotion. Like the minute after Katie has her baby, she will shulwa to baby love. <laughs> like her heart will just be like a huge flood of baby love will come and, and she'll be ah <laughs> and she'll get carried away by this baby love okay and here he says let your shirab be shulwa into your top yeah, let your wisdom be swept away into your skillful, skillful means with meth with yeah. your let your wisdom yeah. be, be swept away by your bodhicitta you see top Wisdom and method, right? Okay, let, let the flood of love carry away your emptiness understanding. It's a beautiful... Uh, okay, go downstream. Relax and go downstream. Okay. And uh, Yi Che, we had it in the mental functions, in the Kundra. Yeah, this yeah, to, to, a, to pay attention, to, to attention the capacity of attention of the mind, okay? Pay attention, pay attention. Then you're yilache. It means to move the mind. Put the mind on something, yilache, okay? Bring to mind, literally. Bring to mind. Uh, chop. This is great. Yeah, chupacha. Try to achieve this supreme attitude, this supreme way of thinking. Uh, and it's probably, although I want to check the commentary below, where your understanding of emptiness gets gets like thrown downstream by this stream of love, this huge wild stream of love. It's a beautiful expression. Mm. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this Lama, he's amazing. This is the only book where we get tantra regularly. <laughs> okay. The Lama who was giving this verbal uh, teaching two hundred years ago. He's, he likes to throw in Tantra, a little taste of a chocolate, every few pages, he's, he's okay. <laughs> so here we go. Shirap Tapla Shuni Naki Bang Wang Wang Tu Chen Chena 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 Shirap Tongpa Ni Tang Tap Tewa, Chempo, Cherme, Yerme, Pe, Ye, Shetang. Yeah, so these guys, uh, before their three year retreat, I made them do seven years of study, Tantra. A very regular study. It's about 10,000 pages. And uh, they're going to tell you what this means. Huh. Make. Wow. <laughs> cool. Getting carried away by emptiness and love is. No, when love carries away your emptiness, okay? Is the understanding. Mm -hmm. is the, with wisdom is understanding of no. Wait, wait, wait. Naki won the chill. Yeah. But in the context of. Tantra. Good. Nice, nice. In a tantric context. Mm -hmm. He says, as far as tantric teachings. Then he says. Is the wisdom of emptiness. And, and the method of love, the big love, and making those two indivisible. Yeah, right. Dewa Chambo? Happiness. Big happy, bodhicitta. Yeah. No. Great, great bliss. Yeah. yeah, bliss, not bodhicitta. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah bliss. Uh, indivisible bliss. And which can refer to the bliss with a partner, with your, with your tantric partner, okay? So let the bliss you have with your tantric partner carry your perception of emptiness downstream. This is the tantric interpretation of this line. Wisdom mm -hmm. of invisible bliss. Okay. Yeah. Cool? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Kind of cool. Amazingly cool. Fairly cool. <laughs> <laughs> Which, it refers to a higher belief in Buddhism that you have a good uh, relationship with a person. Uh, they can be your Buddha. Mm -hmm. They can take you to enlightenment. Okay. If, you, if you're both well trained. Okay. Mutual Buddha paranoia. I think my wife is a Buddha. I think my husband is a Buddha. And then, okay. All right. All right. Please, Rin. Tungmowa Tarna. I was afraid he was going to say Tar. Tarna. 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 Kunzop Tangtun Tampe Changchu Ki Sen Sung Chel Sung Jel Tung 
Nyam Sulem Pa La Sul. You guys can translate it, but it takes some time. Yeah. So yeah, gotta, think about it. Think about it. You gotta wash away your practice. Wait, wait, first part. The very first part. In the shared teachings. Yeah, in the shared teachings. Non tantra. Non tantra. Open teachings. Yeah. Okay. Deceptive and ultimate. Uh, deceptive and ultimate bodhisattva. What's it refer to? Mr. Human Computer. Can I see you like this? Kunzo is bogus. No, no, come on, come on. Or no, no, oh, that's... Oh, well, it's saying, doing, it's saying as I think normal body normal. 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 Yeah. Yeah. normal body chat. Normal body chat. But it's supposed to do Yeah, it is. But what is ultimate body chat? Good, good, yeah. So body chat, which is high love, uh, has two versions. Lower version is high love. Higher version is the direct perception emptiness. Okay. So you need to get swept away. Good, good. Yeah. And combine those two. Make, yeah. Make them inseparable. That's how you should take this. Some girls. Yeah, here it's more like you get swept away by the combination. Right. It's not so much that half of the combination is sweeping away the other half. <laughs> right. But it, you could read it that way. It's funny, even in the open version, it seems like he's hinting at some joke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> what he's pointing out is that he has mentioned a code word in yeah. Tantra. We don't call it enlightenment, we call it... The combination of two. Janis Joplin called it the combination of two. There's a famous song by a rock and roll uh, in my generation, at the peak of music. Uh, it's called the. Uh, what's it called? The combination of two. I'll play it for you sometime. It's a beautiful song. But that's the Tantu word for. What two things are combined? And What's it mean? It means the rainbow body of a Buddha and the uh, seeing up to this directly. Clear light. Yeah. Clear light. Clear light and rainbow body. Okay. And the combination. It's called the combination. So in, in Tantra we don't call it enlightenment. We call it the combination. Okay. Rainbow body. Gutsu means you got this is hard to translate. In a transcript. <coughs> Sul at the end of a sentence means he talked about. It doesn't mean method, you see. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean method. Mm -hmm. He talked about how. You see, Tzul. So in a transcript, which is what your book is, your book is a recording before tape recorders. And uh, he talked about how we had to let our perception of emptiness be swept away by our bodhicitta, or in a tantric context, how we had to let our direct perception of emptiness be swept away by bliss with our partner. Okay, hot. Then it says the supreme attention, right? Yila chepa, turning your mind to the supreme. And he has a version of it. He, he wants to read it a certain way. Here we go. Okay, go. Yila, yila chepe, chok chepe, yila chepa, ni ranche nzin, la charta, charta we ngone, chiche, shengdu, shentun, kona, yila chepa, tang, tela, tene, whoa, 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 whoa. Ten, tene, tene, get your teeth right, tene, tela, tene. Yeah, so he promised us at the end of the verse up here, Yila uh -huh. Chepechok, the supreme way of directing your thoughts. Mm -hmm. The supreme way of directing your thoughts. And then the Lama in his lecture said, You know what that is? By the way, it's just his warm up, right? He's just warming up the audience. Okay, it's pretty heavy warm-up, yeah. <laughs> when the verse says, supreme way of directing your mind, that directing your mind mm -hmm. is rang chen zin la dar ta. Direct your mind to the enemy, self-cherishing. See your habit of taking care of yourself first as the enemy, mm -hmm. capital E, mm -hmm. the big enemy. Yeah, take care of me first. Mm -hmm. that's, the enemy. that's the enemy, you see? To, to care about yourself first and not take care of others first. Okay? To do what you want first. And don't take care of other people. Okay? 
you serve Xiaoping coffee because you like coffee, and she doesn't like coffee, but you don't care. <laughs> that, that, that's just an example, you see. Okay, so it's very beautiful. Yeah, focus your mind on your own habit to take care of number one. In English, we say taking care of number one. And see it as that's the enemy, you know. And by the way, when a Lama talks like this, within one sentence of Tantra, you know you got a real Lama. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. Okay, it's not some sex thing or chick killing chickens or, you know, when the Lama is talking about, you got to take care of the person next to you, yeah. then we could talk Tantra. You know, it's beautiful. Okay. Chiche, anything you ever do all day, shendun kona. Do it for others. Do it for others. Think about others. Even making tea or, you know, when you go get your shoes, you know, let the other person. You're always going like this, you know. I like your Chinese people always <laughs> doing it. Yila che badang. And that will bring you to reach the state of the unenlightened being. Yeah. If you act that way, then you will become a Buddha. Pronto. <laughs> Fast. Okay. Cool? Nice. Very beautiful. That's why I feel happy to read your text. Okay. Go. This is a long sentence. I'm sorry I didn't write it. Tetak le trene nat lam tupe se yang sem chen nam dunyao gi gi narwe wa Namitsupe yeah, again, the tzul at the end means what? Yeah, you see, tzul can mean how you do something, right? And in English, when you report someone else's words, you say, he talked about how we had to, okay, it's like that, okay? And it's have to, he talked about how we have to, and then there's the whole sentence, okay? So... You know Trene because we talked about it in the bus in Taiwan. Yeah, oh, extensions or uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a subject, and and you take a subject, and then there's a connected story or connected, mm -hmm. something connected to it, okay? Mm -hmm. So, l by the way, he says, l you know, if I can just go off a little bit, uh -huh. you know, this sounds like somebody. Uh, <laughs> lam to juke. Yeah, when you enter the path of the secret teachings, Tantra, okay, say, Young, semjen na dungyaki narwa. Dungyaki narwa. How they are tormented. You have to think about how other people are suffering around you. Okay, and misu. Don't have patience. I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand it anymore. Can't take it. Okay. Shoot drop this, this kind of uh, fierce compassion. Yeah, you get fierce compassion. Okay. Uh, and it's Che Lakpa then to Moe Ninja. It's higher? Yeah. It's higher than the compassion which is shared. Yeah, much stronger than normal compassion. Much tantric compassion is much stronger than normal compassion. Okay? Che Lakpa means a thousand times bigger. So it's compared. A million times bigger. Yeah, then, comparative lay, uh, right, yeah, T-H-A-N, right. yeah. yeah. then normal compassion, uh -huh. right. and semjen uh, ki uh -huh. for their sake, yeah. Yeah. for their sake, nyurdu, yeah. nyurdu. quickly achieve Buddha. Yeah, sangye tope chir, I gotta do it fast. Yeah. It. And then, because I want that, I juke ngaklam. Practice mm. tantra. Yeah, I go to tantra, tantra. I go to tantra, yeah. why? Because you got to do it quickly. Because that's yeah. the only way to do it quickly. One lifetime. Yeah. Downstairs, you learned three times ten to sixtieth power times two hundred and fifty million years. 
after you give bodhicitta on the normal path. Mm -hmm. Tantra, one life. Mm -hmm. So this is a higher kind of compassion, you see? And it says, I can't take it anymore. Misupa means, I just can't take it. I can't stand to see people dying. I can't see this Jigmes in the hospital this morning. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Tantra. No. He's pumped. He's got us pumped up. He didn't even start the class yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Sangye chupa ma ni ning che chempo metu mi rutsu wu ma njukpe nutang chete katsel ne she lungo shi. Sanki Chone? Nice. Chone. Oh, by Medu Mirunga for Adam, okay? Medu Mirunga. There's a common Latin term that we use in English. Not so common, but anyway. Sinqua non. Sinqua non. What's it mean? Without this, nothing. Yeah, if, if you don't have this, forget it. It, it means, medu mirungwa means, you cannot do without it. Double negative, double negative. You cannot do without it. Medu, medu mirungwa. What's medu mirungwa? Great compassion. Maha karuna. Maha karuna, big compassion. Okay. What's the difference between normal compassion and big compassion? All these. It could say that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, if you want to become a Buddha, big compassion is medu minua. Yeah, you got to have it. It's not something you can ever do without. Mm. And when he talked about that, mm. he quoted, yeah, That's Umala Jupa. Opening lines. Yeah. Madhyamaka Avatar. Right, right, right. The famous book on emptiness. But he quoted it for compassion. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Our Lama quoted it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Katzel, he, he then, well, he's wrapping up his introduction. Uh -huh. Thus he spoke. Uh -huh. And then he got back to the Shelung Ngut. So he got back to the main Yeah, he came back to the main teaching. And he says, if I was going to continue from yesterday, Kasanga Tune, so now he's. He's finished his, uh, we call it pumping up the audience. You know, everybody should be crying by that time. Yeah. Then he said, now I can start. Now you guys are soft. You know, now I can give you the real teaching. Okay. And by the way, up here, I had trouble up here. Sing del cup. Okay. Sing del means uh, word by word explanation. Yeah. Uh, like, Shiksa uh, Samacharya. Uh, uh, like many of our books. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Uh, so you can either write a commentary about the meaning of something, or you can write a commentary about each separate word. You can explain it word by word. So Tsingdel means we'll go word by word. When I first hit the, when I first hit your today's class, and when I was preparing for it, I went looking for a Tsingdel, because they're always in writing. I've never heard Tsingdel used for verbal. But this is verbal, mm -hmm. because the Lama does go through it word by word after that. He goes through that verse word by word. And I cannot find any, uh, anyone else who ever went through it word by word. Mm -hmm. I, so I believe he's referring to the, to the lecture. Okay. Mm. I went and got you the opening lines that he refers to from Chandakirti, because I translated them recently. So it's fresh in my mind, and I thought maybe you'd enjoy seeing it. Okay. Uh, my first, uh, yeah. My first debate with my teacher. In in the monastery. No, with you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so here it is. Okay, this is these are the this is the verses he explained, but they didn't tell you which verses. And these are the opening verses of uh, of this great book on emptiness from 1400 years ago. Okay, so. Listeners, medium Buddhists are born from the Buddha. That's that's okay. <laughs> the Buddha speaks, and his students get enlightened. Okay, but the Buddhas, who are they born from? <laughs> and then he says Bodhisattva. You see, so it's a cool. You see, we all we all are children of this Buddha, but this Buddha is a child of the of Bodhisattva. Mm -hmm. You know, so what makes them? Uh, bodhisattva. What makes them a bodhisattva? 
is compassion. And then he says, a state of mind beyond all duality, mixed with emptiness. Compassion mixed with emptiness, shulwa. Got carried away by emptiness. Uh, and so bodhicitta and emptiness together. It's exactly the subject we're on, right? Uh, and so here at the beginning, because traditionally you bow down to the Buddha at the beginning of a book, or you bow down to Munjushri, or you bow down to Tsongkhapa, or you bow down to Nagarjuna, and he bows down to compassion. He says, look, I could bow down to people, everybody does that, but I'm going to bow down to compassion, because the Buddhas do. Okay? Okay? Because I believe it is love and only love, which produces a Buddha. Okay, cool. Mm. Yeah. He's going, talking about Ming Mei Tsewa, right? Uh, Tsongkhapa's mantra. Love which sees emptiness. Yeah. So first they want a person thinking about me, and then they want things. Okay? And I bow down to compassion for all beings who are stuck in this... Uh, call it like thing in the carnival? Yeah. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. <laughs> They're stuck in the Ferris wheel of samsara. Okay. And this is a reference to a, uh, a wheel that they used to use for irrigation in India mm. to get the water to a higher elevation. Yeah. Mm. And it, it just keeps going. And, and the we're buckets get banged around and he says we're in samsara. So we get banged around like those people. Last, oh, there's more. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's talking about emptiness, uh, unreality. Mm -hmm. You look in the water and you see a moon. It's a reflection. Yeah, just yeah. And, uh, and there's the prayer of perfect goodness. That's the one we're in. Yeah, we're in the tantric version of Samantabhadra's prayer. Uh, Are you doing this in Gomarasa? Yeah, this is in Gomarasa. That's where this is whole thing we can find. Yeah. So it's on the website. Uh, that's all. At the end. Okay. I thought you'd like that piece for uh, in your footnote or something, yeah. okay? Or I don't know. Okay, yay! We featured, finally reached the, awesome. today's teaching, session number six. Okay, here we go. Yetse tamche tamche jiao wordlang pe tse. Good. Senpang neng pa nang tu chu pa yi. Uh, let's read the commentary, because, by the way, this is a translation of a thousand years ago. By the way, it's probably one of the last books ever written in India, before India became Muslim. Yeah. Probably one of the last books. Yeah. It's, the, it's the youngest book in the Tengir. Okay. I, I don't even know if it's in the Tengir. Anyway, maybe not. Okay, go ahead. Shepani Rangla Niewe Lama Soki Kyangi Nienpa Tang Nardi Niewe Chokla Sopa Tamche Jawor Lang Te Dunga Wete. You want to take a shot? <laughs> My Lama, who is Niewa Rangla. Uh -huh. oh, so close to me. Yeah, my lama, who used to be my dear lama, who liked to hang out with me, Kyang <laughs> Mie. Well, now his heart is not close by. He, he easily fire. gets irritated at me. Oh, hard to and uh, hard to please them, okay. And then my topos, friends. who were Ning uh, Close friends. My tight friends. Tight. My, what do you call it nowadays? Besties. My besties. <laughs> My besties, uh, all of them, Dawo, become my Dawo. Yeah, Dawo Lung means they end up being my enemy, you know, like you have a close friend. And then after a year, you hate each other, okay? So what's the karma for that, you know? It happens in marriages, right? You're, you're really, really close, you're, you're talking to, you're buying them flowers every day. And, and then a year later, they're the person you hate the most in the world. So what's the karma for this that keep happening? Why does it happen again and again? Doing always say, it's, and it's suffering, right? When you have this problem, now we go. Uh, go ahead. 
Teni Kiewa Ngoma Namsu Shela Sempa Sama Sempa Ngangpe 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 Gone Ngosu Ngosu Ngopa Kiewa Detarma Tukyang Ngotupa Shichu Na Nyampe Sempa Sampangeng Pahash Pahashik Nangtu Chukpe Lengeng Rangla Khorwa Yin Duk Nyamne Tonglen Gom Khomshin Good. Nice. Long sentence. Sorry. Why do my friends change on me after a year? Why do they suddenly start to hate me? Well, Nunmanam, Kewang Nunmala, in my Kewang Nunmala, in my past lives, I had Sampang Nyamba for Shen. I had bad thoughts for others. Yeah. And if I got a chance, I know them muso. Uh, heard them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kyal is the verb for doing a harm to someone. Uh-huh. So if I got a chance, uh-huh. I would hurt them directly. Mm. But if I matuk, if I didn't, yeah, if I didn't have a chance to hurt them directly, I would ne tubishik chungna. So chungna is an idiom. Chungna say chungna. Chungna. It means I wish I could. And it literally it means if I could, chungna. If I got a chance, if I only could get a chance, chungna. You know, and it's a it's a colloquial now. There's a chungna. If I could just get a chance, okay, to hurt them, no tupa, to be able to hurt them, okay. Chungna nyambe, nyambe means I wish I could. You think to yourself, mm-hmm. you know, I hope I get a chance to do something to them, okay? Sampang uh, nyamba, that's bad, Thinking. bad, bad heart. Bashi. Only. Yes, finally. <laughs> Her text, the vowel, the non vowel she's doing is called Bashi. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Called simple downfall. You don't have to leave the monastery, you just stay and apologize, okay? But here it means just bad attitude. Always bad attitude, okay? Only. I, I hope I get a chance to hurt them, okay? Bashi. Nangdo. Inside. Yeah, in your heart, okay? So either you hurt them if you can, or you keep thinking, I hope, inside you keep thinking, I hope I get a chance to hurt them. Okay? Uh, you keep it inside. Chuk means keep it inside. Okay. Lengen. Lengen. Bad karma. That's the game. Bad karma. And wrong la core. Coming back to me. So his book, every verse ends with karma is coming back to me. The wheel is coming back to me. Okay. Do nyamne, and if you want to fix it, you better do some tonglen, mm. which is uh, giving into the yeah, practice of giving and taking. Yeah, take away other people's pain, give them happiness. Uh, if you want to fix the karma, okay, okay. Uh, now it's interesting. Okay, read this next sentence. Chinche jitar che jawa. What's that mean? <coughs> From now on. Good. Chita I'll do it like this. Yeah, how should I do you know? What should I do from now on? Okay. And this is the common uh, pattern we've had with his text. Da chinche. So what am I how am I supposed to change from now on? Okay. What resolution should I make? Uh, please read. Tani Mukyo Kyu Nam Chungwarja. Yeah, from now on, I'm going to try to reduce my Mukyo and my Kyu Nam. My dark thinking and my illusory thoughts? Well, even uh, hundreds of years ago, nobody knew this word. Mm. Mm. And he's going to talk about it, so I'm not going to tell you, okay? Mm-hmm. He, he wants to talk about it. Let's give him a chance, okay? These are two words that were rare 
hundreds of years ago. Then nobody uses them now. I've never seen these words. So he's going to explain them. Let's let him do that. Okay. Okay. Here we go. She. She. Mukyo. Okay. Tang. Kyunam ni gula sewa tengar. Let's stop the. Let's, oh, no, keep going, I'm sorry. Ngarki. Ngarki. Danin. Danin. Yin par kor woi. Kowe. 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 Lama sum pa. Lama sum. Lama sum. Let's stop there, okay? So, uh, let's go from the second line. I hope you feel better, by the way. Yeah. I think after the term finishes, we can all... Crash. Sleep for a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets sick around now, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Just be a tough guy. Okay. My lama said, okay, mm. koo means I. Mm. Ancient word for I. My lama said, look, these two words are danyin. Uh, old words. Yeah, archaic words. Yeah. Uh, archaisms? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Cool. In, in the dictionary, they'll be marked as <gasps> ning. Oh. In parentheses, and it, it means da means uh, da literally means signal. Right. Nian da means an alarm, for example, a danger da. Uh, but da can also mean an expression. Uh, so here it means look, these are ancient words. My lama said, look, they're ancient words, and he explained them for us. He he gave his version, and I'm going to follow my lama. Okay. He's saying, look, I have no idea what these words are, but my lama said. <laughs> Okay. Uh, mukyo is yoa. Shaking. Darkness. darkness. This yoa means uh, dishonesty. Oh, right. Shifty. Descent. To be shifty. Oh, dissembling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't give straight answers to people. You don't act in a straight way. Yo, you. Yo, and you. Yeah, and then you means uh, we had it. Uh, your bomgamo did gyu. To keep the nuns tricky out of means, her house. Tricky means. Oh, to keep her out of her sponsor's house. Yeah. She She's told them, lies. people who walk down this street you get their whatever, get their heads busted, get their brains bashed out. They, they, that was yeah. called in your text. It was called gyu. It means to lie to dis, to trick someone. Okay. Oh, don't go down the street. You know, it's a dark. Uh, people, oh, I'm gonna smash your brains in. It means she, that's where my sponsor lives. <laughs> <laughs> that's Gyu. It was called Gyu in your text. And uh, what's the Gyu Maken? Uh, a magician. Yeah, a magician. So these are all words for uh, tricking people. So, and commonly, as, as Mr. Dictionary said, in modern Tibetan, they are put together Yogyu. Yogyu. Shifty lies. Or it means dishonest Deception? person. Deception. Deceiving. You deceive people. Okay? So by this kind of uh, not acting straight and deceiving people, okay, uh, you get this kind of karmic result. What? Uh, your friends and your lama, your, your lama doesn't like what you do, and your friends, you know, your girlfriend becomes your worst enemy. I had a fight with my girlfriend in sixth grade. We didn't talk till twelfth grade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm this serious. is uh, no, this is typical. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think we even talked in twelve. Anyway, uh, okay, yendu oh, nyamne. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Now I thought uh, <coughs> it'd be fun to go try to figure out which llama. Oh. So uh, there's a website where you can get a list of teachers of people. Uh, and uh, one of his teachers was Jampa Munlam. And he mentions in the earlier part of the text that this Lama taught him this text. Trichin mm Tembarabge -hmm. mentioned? No, uh, yeah, Trichin Tembarabge mentioned Jampa Munlam. Uh, yeah. he, that he got this transmission from Jampa Munlam. Uh -huh. So I thought it'd be interesting in your footnote, uh, you could say this is probably Jampa Munlam. You know, we, we probably know the teacher who taught him the weird, these two old words, okay, which is kind of cool. Chinze yogi le namdiyang miche. Namdiyang means never, never ever. In the future, will I be dishonest with people, okay? 
Shikchag Kupetun Yinsung. He, our Lama, told us soon that the meaning of this line is that we must never be dishonest with other people. Okay? What do you want? It's not dishonest, but it's shifty. Oh, I can't say that. Deceit. Deceit. Con. It's deceiving. Conning other people. Devious. Devious. Devious, Devious. Devious. Devious is good. Devious? Devious. 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 Uh, D-E-V-I-O-U-S. Yeah, devious. That's for Mukyu or? Uh, yeah, it's your problem. You gotta divide them. <laughs> I, I, if, okay, I'm gonna help you divide them, okay? The first one, Mukyo, is more uh, not being straight with people. Uh, like avoiding their questions and stuff like that. And then Gyunam is more uh, tricking, giving them wrong impressions. With malice or... Yeah, like... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's always malice, yeah, but it means uh, tricking them, deception. So the first one sort of means uh, being shifty or avoiding giving straight answers, and the second one is more uh, being deceptive, cheating people, and, and sometimes that means cheating, so... And we also need a word for kyo. Which one? Oh, no, mukyo is one word. Oh, that's going to be... And gyunam is one word. But don't they come as separate words in the verse? No. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. I will reduce... Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that. Uh, they always says, I will reduce yeah. my uh, dishonesty. <laughs> it means I can't stop, but I'll, right. I'll try to cheat people less next week. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. One minute, Geshava. One minute. <laughs> I'm just going to read it, okay? Dile tune kasan ga shigne lojong ki pe chima shigla dukso ki shloka shlapo shig dukpa. I'm just going to do that much, okay? Dila tune, now with regard to, to this point after these lines, okay? Where we go from these lines, yesterday, mm -hmm. after I finished my teaching, a couple of the students came to me. And they had a chima, a written, handwritten copy of this text, oh. not carved. Mm. Chima means written by hand. Cool. Uh, yeah, of this lojo. Right. Wow. Okay, shikla dukzuki, and they showed me that there was a shloka hlakpa. Uh, extra. Yeah, there was another uh. verse here. Uh. That's missing from the carving. Wow. It's not in the carving. She says some people came to me with a handwritten version. By the way, we don't have the Sanskrit. It's truly missing. Maybe we'll find it someday uh, in Tibet. Okay. Shaboshi Dukbe Chepa Yin, and I thought maybe somebody left it out at some point. It got left out. Chepa Yin Nyamna Topa. I had this thought in my mind, uh, suspicion. yeah, I had the suspicion, maybe it got left out of our carved version, okay, but then again, Kyang, <laughs> like he's like thinking out loud, you know, <laughs> then again, uh, those written versions, tapa my in, you know, yeah, and you see a lot of problems with those written versions, you know, uh, I see, uh, so it was not a wood block. So, so I made the decision to continue uh, with the block that I was taught from. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, this is kind of fun. It is. Yeah, and, and we'll stop in the middle there. Yeah. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, it's interesting. He's dealing with some corrupt text. Yeah. Yeah. Stopped here. 29 today? Uh, yes, yeah. it is. Okay. Okay. Sashi Joshi Metal Tom, Ramling Shin and Deg and Badi, Sangel Shindu Mite Wargi, Jokunam Dashing Lachu Parsho, Ilam Guru Ramandala Kanya Dayami. Sanam 
Shogadish, Mogadish. Cool text. Thanks for having a cool text.